Hey guys, so this is the last video to my spring series. After this one, I'm going to be doing um, a new series, which is going to be coming soon, hopefully. I have some ideas planned out, so yeah, it should be good. It's going to be fun. So, and, and different, I don't, I don't think I've seen anyone else um, do something like this, or what's going to be coming soon. So that'll be really cool, so um, if you're just someone who's passing by and just landed on this um, video, subscribe, because there's going to be really cool stuff coming in the future, so that'll be really cool. And so, anyways, this is the neutral look that I did. So you can pretty much wear this anywhere. I'm, I, like, I wear this to school today, you can wear it to work. You can wear it if you're just going shopping for the day or if um, you're going to like the beach in the springtime. So I think it would be safe enough to wear this to the beach in the spring since you're not really going swimming and it's not really dramatic. You know, you can wear this if you you don't you, you know, you, you don't want to experiment with color because I know people are afraid to afraid of color. So you can use the neutral colors and still have your eyes, you know, pop and look really good and smoky and um, just looks like you know you're you're awake and without using you know bright colors this is the look um, my last spring look so keep watching um, to see how I did the smoky neutrals I already did oops the NYX eyeshadow base on my whole eye and then I did NYX jumbo eye pencil in milk for the inner corners and underneath like where the eyelash is just to brighten up the eye and then I'm taking um, Max Gesso or any white matte color that you have I'm gonna take um, the bigger crease brush from Essence of Beauty just get a sufficient amount on there you wanna make it really white the inner corners not too much in on the lid just just in the inner corners I'm going to highlight, um, I know it's kind of weird to highlight before you put the actual colors on, but it, this makes it easier for me, and, it, and like when I go to blend it afterwards and put the highlight on it, sometimes um, makes a more defined line for the eyeshadow, so it's harder to blend. So this just makes it easier for me to blend it, so I'm taking Max Vanilla, or any kind of beigey type color that you have, and I'm taking a, um, like this fluffy brush from um, BH Cosmetics. And just in the brow bone. Now with the um, bigger crease brush again that we already took, um, I'm taking the bottom layer of my BH Cosmetics Second Edition, and we're basically just gonna stay in this little area right here. The first color I'm gonna use is this one right here. Get a um, a good amount on there, but you don't want to have too much because you don't want fallout. You're gonna put this um, color all over the lid and a little bit above your crease. I'm taking the color right below it, this one, and get a little bit of color on there. You don't want too much because. Um, you don't want to pack it on at first because it'll be a lot and you'll be like, whoa, and you won't be able to take it off. So you're going to start in the um, outer corner and you're going to work it in a C and um, just blend it out towards the um, middle of your lid. I'm going to take that same crease brush by um, Essence of Beauty and now I'm taking the darker color you don't want a lot you might even want to dab some on um, a napkin or something you just want like even like one little dab is like all you need and you want to put it in the very corner and work it down taking the little essence of beauty brush the crease brush and I'm getting that same really dark color and starting from the corner and I'm gonna bring it down and you want it to be dark and then later as you get in 
And now I'm taking that cream color that I was talking about before, that one, and you're going to put this in um, your tear ducts just so it's not so white because it looks kind of awkward. So just put that and then blend it up and connect it. You just don't want it to be like white because it doesn't look too good with the neutral colors. I'm going to use a black eyeliner. I would use a brown eyeliner, but I don't have a brown eyeliner. This is just um, Milani True Black. And um, I'm going to put this on the waterline and um, a little bit on the top one too. But I'm not putting it um, in the tear ducts just so the tear ducts make my eyes um, really open and bright. And you don't really want to tug on your eye. And then um, on the top one, just like halfway. Now, whatever mascara you prefer. I'm using Colossal Volume, as everyone already knows. <laughs> okay, so this is the finished, and I'll get up close for you. So, it's pretty much pretty much it. Not very difficult, right? <laughs> um, I didn't really have a tough time. The only thing with these palettes, it I notice when I use a lot of like the purples, because there's just so many purples and pinks and, and everything, um, when I use that, and I'll do it for school, and I'll be like, oh, this came out really good. I want to do this for a video. And then I go back, and I try to remember what colors I use, and it's really hard. So the only thing with these palettes I don't like is really hard to remember what colors you use and stuff like that. So at any rate, this is the finished. So um, subscribe, like I said before, so you guys can see the new stuff that's going to be coming, the new series that's going to be coming soon. And I can't tell you what it is because it's going to be a surprise. It's going to be something really different and really fun. And I'm really excited about it. And um, it should be good. It should come out good. It'll be cool. So, yeah, stay tuned for that, and um, I'll see you guys later in the next video or whatever. Um, so, yeah, thanks, guys. Bye.